Hey guys, it's Axo here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Until Dawn. Now, where we left off, we found out who the killer was, or the psycho, and it was Josh. Josh faked his death. A very traumatic experience for Chris and Ashley, and it was just all fake. Ashley still got the fake pig blood on her, which is kind of gross, but at least it's not human blood. <laughs> I guess that's the only positive you could take out of that. And, uh, yeah, that's... I think that's pretty much all that happened in the last episode. So let's continue. Emily. How the heck did you survive that? How? First of all, how? Like, she survived by a single rope. If that rope wasn't there, she definitely would have died. Emily is lucky. I mean, she has Matt. So, that's already just pure luck right there. Out of there, Emily. I'm gonna get squashed. Emily. You see, I told you to move. If a rock was gonna get you, then the whole thing was gonna get you. Now you're good. But now you just damaged your leg. Oh, God. Here goes 600 bucks. Better be worth it or the great in that top. $600? Emily. Why? Right. Now we're talking. I would not spend $600 for an outfit, a clothing option. Like, if, if, if something looks good and it's like 20 bucks, I'll get it. Maybe even less. I'll wear something that's a dollar, I don't care. She's smart enough to make a fire, though. Like that, that was like her first instinct, which is actually pretty smart of her. Okay, well that's pointless. I love how at this point Emily doesn't like know anything that Josh is the killer or nothing. So she probably still right now thinks that uh Josh is dead. But like everybody else, well, 80% of the people in this game know that he's not dead. Okay. I do remember since last time I played there was like a clue in this box. Yes, there it is. Oop. Preparing to dynamite the new shafts. Northwest Mines. And 251. Dang, she slammed that. Can you be a little uh, caref more careful with that? It's fragile. 1951 fragile. It's an antique at this point. There's nothing even back here. Alright, nothing's even all the way back here. As far as I missed it. Alright, now move this. Because apparently it wants me to move it.
Alright, well that works, but that was extremely loud. <laughs> Was her feet, like, slightly through the wood? Did I see that? Or was that just... Uh, I think that's just how her shoes are. Shit. Okay. How do I get this thing on? Good question. Alright, I think I... I know. <laughs> sure should take it's good old time zooming in. Do, 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 do. This is nice. Excuse me. I was do do doing all across the mine shaft. Got a problem with that? Random fire. Clocking in machine in. Out. All employees need to clock in and out at the start and end of each shift. Why is, like, the in wiped out but not the out? The one thing I love about this game is, like, the background noise and the ambiance. It's really nice. I know there's something here. Yep. Is it Totam? It is Totam. <laughs> Death Totem. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> she just got shot right in the eyeball. If that's not a Death Totem... I guess so. But <laughs> it it if she doesn't die from a shot to the face, then I don't know what she can survive from. So it's it's kind of obvious that it was a death. But I appreciate the game showing me. We need to be careful um, around the bullet. <laughs> we need to dodge the bullet when it comes. <laughs> Emily's skilled, she could probably do it. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, damn! Whoop. Emily, I saw that your phone was about to die. You should have brought, like, a portable charger with you. That's what I usually do when I go on the road. I usually always bring a portable charger in case my phone is about to die and there's no... ...charging stations nearby. Uh, that's definitely not Matt. Okay. Boom! Emily's... If there's one thing you should you can say about Emily, Emily is that she's tough. All right. Just looking at the ladder, the broken ladder. All right. No comment. Okay. There's some, there was something over here. Oh. Weird. Really weird. Mining cap? Why is that weird? Didn't you see? You saw the picture. You saw the things saying that they were gonna use dynamite and stuff. So it's not really weird that you'd see a mining cap. Hmm. Dearest Billy, homey, uh, whoa, hurry home safe. From your loving wife and daughter, Agnes and Luis, XX. Did she keep the photo? 
I think she kept the photo. Which, okay. I mean, you do you. Why am I heading up after I just heard all that? <laughs> but okay. All right. All right, Emily. Like I said, she's she's fearless. She doesn't care. Um, I'm jumping. Let's be quick about this. I mean, I don't need to be quick because there's like no one chasing me. But I thought I might as well be quick. <laughs> if I heard that noise, I'd be going down the elevator. Or going down the ladder. And be like, nah, my my time has come. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let whatever is screaming right now kill me. Nothing over here? Alright. She's not even questioning what that noise is. The only thing she said was Matt when she heard it. She probably thinks it's a bat or something. Which, that makes sense. Oh, there she goes. Now she's recognizing the noise. No, no, Emily, I feel like you're confused. I don't think that's Matt. Matt has more like a manly voice. That sounds like a womanly shriek. Just saying. Matt wouldn't be able to go that high. Come on, for fuck's sake. Son of a bitch. You see, that's why you should have bought a portable charger. With Emily being as smart as she Okay, I'm just gonna go home. Oh, there we go. Got it. Boom. But... Emily should have been smart enough to bring a portable charger with you. Or with her. Does she does she think that there was like there doesn't seem to be that much power in the uh at the cabin. Like they had to use candles for light. Or maybe that was just some mood mood lighting. They had to power up generators constantly. I haven't seen anyone, like, I don't remember anyone, like, flickering on a light. Or maybe I, maybe they did, I just didn't pay attention. Oh, danger totem. Alright, well, I watch out for arms. But, if they, they, do, they didn't seem to be power at the cabin, even if there is, there wasn't that much. Or you had to, like, power it up yourself with a generator or something. So they should have brought portable chargers with them. This is... this. I don't know what year this game takes place. I kind of forgot. But the game came out in 2015. So, Emily, I, I really think you have to establish the fact that Matt can't go that high. Matt can do many things, but he, but he can't scream like, uh, I don't know, Beyonce. <laughs> you can't pull a uh, hit a Ariana Grande note. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Glasses. Hannah. Hannah's glasses. Oh yeah, there's HW on the on the 
sad. What's with the Washington family and having their initials and stuff and boil the boil board? Lovely. Danger is my middle fucking name. Is it Emily? What's with their last? Uh, what's with their initials being put on items? I can't say embroidered for some. Oh, now I say whatever. <laughs> when are you getting yours, Beth? Smiley face. The tattoo. Yeah, it's a nice tattoo. means that uh Hannah or one of them survived a year ago I mean you saw the picture being laid out all nice on the thing and the glasses so someone must have survived which is weird because like when you first see them die they like look dead Yep, that's Beth's Cross, February second, twenty fourteen. Okay, so this this game takes place like in twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. Alrighty. <laughs> Emily, I really think you should like just get out of here. <laughs> I know that's what she's trying to do, but I don't I don't feel like she's trying hard enough. She's, she's walking right now. She should be running. If I hear a noise like that, I'm running. Okay. Oh, she was down here. Hannah's locket. Yeah. Why are you holding it like that? Why, why is your finger... Why are you bending your finger like that? Weird. But Emily, I, f I don't feel like, I mean, you do, you do have a scratch on your leg, so I guess I understand why you're not running. But if I heard a, I heard a noise like that, I'd be going as fast as I could. In the opposite direction. And it seems that every direction she seems to be going towards the noises. Ooh. Hold on, let me let me get a good look at it. Beth. Yep, that's definitely Beth's dead head. But why is her head like just off? And why is does it is it like only her head? That would be so weird. Why is it only her head? Wait, what was that thing that I could have pressed on? Oh, it was probably the locket. And the game was being weird. But it's only Beth's head. I mean, and her clothes. But I didn't, I didn't see her body there. Something happened to her body. Emily, I'm criticizing you way too much. You're in a hard situation, so I understand. I hope you make it out. I mean, she is pretty, like, abrasive and full of criticism for other people, so I guess it's not unfair to give her a little bit of criticism, too. Ooh, I couldn't have, I couldn't have, 
got any more frozen than that. It didn't even move. Like, at all. Why are you stopping? Oh, okay. I guess that works. I mean, it's a dead end, so you shouldn't, like, turn around and be like, okay, I'm just gonna head back, because it only seems like a one-way, so he's gonna get you, regardless, but at least if you hide. Alright, well, you're not hiding very good enough, because even I can see you, Emily. <laughs> you found me! Now it's, now it's my turn to do hide-and-seek. You hide, I'll Josh. seek. No. Josh! <laughs> Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. <laughs> and after all you've been through, good. Good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel? Right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Wow. Oh, come, Why come, is he come, come, torturing come, 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 Chris? He tortured fly. Chris more than anyone else, and Chris was asleep. Every now and then, right? and Chris was passed out. I mean, every one of you just Maybe Josh just doesn't know that because he was passed out too. My little phantasmagorical spectacle. Phantasmagorical. Oh, okay. Ever since this game came out, I've been using, I've been like, trying to use that word. A delight to play the puppet master to, to all of your Pavlovian panic. How did you pull that off though? Because the thing just like disappeared. Score, score, Lord, bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you wow. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh. Your fingerprints were all over this. It was obviously you. Oh, really? Really, really, really? Yeah, we find out. We found out. Glenn, you wanted to get caught, didn't you? Oh, sure. I'm totally just crying out for help. Help me! Oh, help me, help, help. Come on! Come on, it was just for fun. I mean, so you got a little bit of egg on your face, right? Nobody got hurt? What are you talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Oh. Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! Dang. Ah! Uh, guys! Guys, come on. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut I'm up. surprised Mike just didn't Why'd just shoot him. Her, man? Huh? Why'd you the fucking hit her? Ah. Oh! What are you talking you about? You punched Ashley, you piece of shit! Mm. Oh. I got so mad. You don't hit a girl. You, you just don't, dude. Dude, Chris, bro. I, and I'm not your bro. He's not Where your bro. Where are you guys taking me? Locking you up, bro. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are you serious, bro? Bro. Goddamn murderers, which you are. I didn't do it. Michael, please, just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. Um... I mean, you you did deserve this. You did much you more than you needed like, to. Like, really? Do you not understand what you've done? I'm a healer, man! I bring people together! Not like you assholes. That's enough. Wow. He's a healer by causing traumatic experiences. I don't think that's much healing, Josh. What you want to see. You're Stop talking. I, you are ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. You suckers can't take a joke. Oh, oh wait. Did I hurt you? Did you just you feel a little a little bit of pain mm. right now? I am so so sorry. Ah! Stop it! Jesus, stop! Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am. 
that something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Wow. So people were skeptical. No, I'll, I'll be angry. No, I'll be angry. Josh, be honest. Do you really expect us to trust you for a single goddamn second after all the shit you put us through? Exactly. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? <laughs> what the crap? Damn it! Not dicking around. <laughs> Mike is furious. Understandably, though. He was about to get it on with Jessica. And all this got bullies. Hang out a guy just to try like this, guys. Huh? Not like not like you got the guts to really do anything about it anyways. Josh, that's not helping. Uh you're the coward. Defensive, aggressive. Need to shut up. Uh, I mean, he doesn't need to oh, shut up, but he is the coward. coward there is. Uh huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created, and I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us. You hurt your friends, and you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Exactly. Uh, uh, I mean, Josh has the balls to do all this to his friends, so he's a coward with okay. he's a coward with some balls. In God's name, is he talking about? This is hard to watch. Jeez. You ever seen this kind of shit before? He's off his meds. Wow, and you call us the bullies? Sorry, what did you say? I said you're a dummy, dummy. What is wrong with you? Dum dum want some gum gum. Oh, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Stop. Wow. You know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah. You know, you might as well let Ashley sleep with Mike. I mean, at least he's got some notches in his belt. And <laughs> Mike know? is like, whoa, Don't wait a minute. Her right. Don't bring me into this. Fucking Pathetic, Christopher. I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Hey, Mike. Wow. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike. What? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened. No. No, I... I don't. I got a problem, Mike. Yeah. I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel... Like, I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Wow. Um, hit Josh to saw Mike. No, you know what? I'm just gonna let Mike do his thing. Do whatever you feel need is necessary, Mike. Ah! You guys are the worst! What? Oh, come on! You expect me to believe you're gonna shoot me? Well, just... Just a little meat tied up here and help listen. Hmm? I mean, I could have hit Josh. Let's go back to the lodge. Make sure everything's alright. I'll stay I... here with this lunatic until the morning. Oh, sleepover. <laughs> Can we order pizza? <laughs> you sure you're okay? Eh, don't wanna know everything's fine back there. And if right. he messes you up anymore? This would smack him. I had the option, and you also had the option. What was that? I saw that last minute. The single frame of something. Alright, I'll skip this. Revelation. There's one thing about Josh is that although he's loony, he's kind of funny. <laughs> Can we owe the pizza? 
Like, I couldn't help but just, like, chuckle at that. That's a little funny. Although, I kind of feel bad for him. Like, he definitely needs some sort of meds. And he took a lot, but apparently a lot of them didn't work. Thank you. Oh. 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 Well, at least he's helping you out. Boom. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, Emma. All right, let's go. I feel really bad for Josh. I mean, obviously he's like not in the right mind space. And at the end of the day, he did do all this horrible stuff to everybody, including Chris who did nothing wrong. But Josh clearly is in a lot of pain and the doctors and hospitals and therapists aren't helping him. Because the meds weren't working. Hey, Billy. I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary. Loretta. Triple X. Ooh. They went from a... T t t the other thing had two X's. This one has three. Someone's stepping up. If someone goes four, then you know that they're ready. Okay, I, you saw that before. <sighs> it seems like her leg is fine, though. She's, like, hardly limping now. Before, she was limping a lot. Like, you can't help but feel a little sympathy for Josh, although he's not in the right mind space. With all the clues that I found, you kind of... Fortune totem. Hey! Nice. It's a fortune to not shoot something. Probably, uh, Emily. Because Emily does get shot, and Mike does have a gun. So maybe it's a fortune to not shoot her. Yeah, with with Josh, like he's gone through a lot. Clearly, I don't know how his parents feel about that. Can I look over? Ooh, maybe I don't want to look over there. Not over there. Okay. 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 This is gonna be the way. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. That's creepy. Um, go left to right. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna go left. Okay. Guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Pull it, why are you making me do this? that down. I don't know why. They can easily just hop over it. Oh, okay, well that's fine. Uh oh 
Got her. Oh, ooh. almost got her again. Oh, ooh. ow. Well, she has a broken back now. That must have hurt. I'm sure the bite hurt more, though. Maybe equally equal pain. Next scene? No? Is it the same scene? With Emily? Oh, now she's running. Should have ran a long time ago, Emily. But I'm glad you're running now. Now. Does it seem like Mike has a different pistol? Because he had like a regular pistol before when he hit Josh. And now it looks like he has like a deagle or something. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. I'll have to look at it again. Oh no, I'm crushed. Um, yeah, I'll keep going. Speak concern first. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. Em, Em, you can relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Um. Where's Matt? Wait, Em. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh, God. We, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, Way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And and then it, it was Matt and me down there, and oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How, Emily? What happened? I I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found. Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down Damn. there. That oh, Wendigo Jesus really Christ. got her. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? I mean, she's not messed oh. up. She really, she really saw a monster. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Yeah, he's a different pistol now. Or was it always a deagle? Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Uh, I should probably have the pistol, because, you know, I'm Chris. Uh, uh, let me have the pistol, because I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and m muscle and all that. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Huh. When you put it that way. Not here. <laughs> Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Funny. I'll try. Your own show. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe. No, change my mind. Maybe I should. Nah. Hey, uh, it's closed. Maybe you should come back another time. I really don't want to open this door. Maybe you should just, like, go away. Because honestly, we have a gun. We're going to shoot you. I'm really concerned about your well-being, to be honest. Although you're a complete stranger, 
I can, if you go in, I'm going to shoot you. Just to let you know. So I, I suggest you walk away. No? All right. Shoot him, Thanks. Thanks. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, everybody, just calm. He snagged it just really quick. Just Although I'm Go pretty on. sure I pulled the trigger. Say what I came to say. All right. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I, don't take kind I think this actor is like one of the people who made this movie. Uh, I'm sure the director or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, the don't I know he's uh, one of the people who made this movie, uh, this game. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. He's in a couple of other like a of these games that he made. I'm only gonna tell you this once. He's not in all of them, though. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. I definitely shot that Wendigo. Right in the face. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Roll credits. Guys, <laughs> I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Chris is so caring. Man, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone? Suicide. Fine. The rest of you. Chris would literally down, risk his own life to save Josh, safe. even though Josh did all this to him. Back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh. Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything. I tell you. Okay. Will do. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. I saw you shoot those hey. sacks. Come back safe. And it was garbage. Ooh. We need to hurry, son. I'll see you soon. <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> that was nice. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh... What's a guy gotta know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay. Uh, should I keep going? It's 45 minutes in, or 40 something so, minutes in to the episode. I don't want to make it too long. Yeah, whatever. I'll go for it. This episode's gonna be long. I didn't. I didn't want them to be long, but a lot's happening. So. They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like it's like tough armor unless you burn it off first. Gross. Gross. <laughs> I swear I didn't remember him saying that. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or, I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Or 
human. Well, you mean like how? Have you got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Well, maybe you should. They seem like they seem like nice guys. They might tell you. The uh, pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they can be able to smell me or something. Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toes. Okay. <laughs> Sight is based on changes in movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Okay. Okay, so I just gotta stand still. Simple enough. If these things windows are or were human. Damn it, what happened? Dang, he was in the middle of saying something. Guess I went there too fast. Apologies. I usually like stand still and let the dialogue play so that everybody can hear any everything. But we gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile, and then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. Again, he keeps you alive and aware, and feasts on your organs. One piece at a time. Okay, that's even more gross. So we'll watch that. Let's go now. Apologies for not uh, letting his dialogue go through. Should have done. Uh, I should have just waited, but I didn't know he was gonna say something else. Dang, that's a lot of blood. I really don't think Josh is okay. Okay, I see something here. Before I head out there, about this. Jeez. Yep, it's fake. Josh was right. Though at the beginning of the game, I forget it. Or at the mi middle of the game, um, Matt and Emily were like, "Oh, maybe we should have looked at it to find out if they were really telling the truth." And if they really did look at it, they probably could have like seen that Josh faked it. quiet. I didn't move. I followed his directions. Run! Go! Now! Now! Oh! Back! God damn! I'm right out of the Gotta get out of here! Oh! Oh. oh shit. Well, he's dead. Go for that. Fire. Oh. I did it. Oh my god. I killed him. No, no, stay dead. <laughs> stay dead. Go, 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 go. Oh. Suck it up the willies. shit. Whoa. Little barrels. Shoot the barrels. Now he better stay dead this time. Oh, he's not. All right, well that sucks. Ash, Ash. Oh, thank God, please let me in quick. Oh my God, Chris. Oof. Oh my God, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. That thing was like right behind me. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, my. oof.
All right. Whew. Hi, Mike. What's up? You still look as good as ever, even with their dirt all over you. You're not honest at all? Wow. Honesty is at a complete zero right now. Mike, you're a complete liar. And I hope you feel sorry about that. I'll, but your jawline looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that is it for this episode of Until Dawn. A lot happened. It's a pretty long episode. I didn't want these episodes to be too long, but a lot a lot happened, so I wanted to fit as much as possible. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneezed during this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I truly hope this helped cheer you up in some way. Um, pff, monsters chasing after them. Doesn't, doesn't seem like a fun time <laughs> at all. And the person who talked all about the Wendigos and tried to help us is now dead. So that's that's fun. <laughs> I love how he's just like stand still, and then right when he heard the wind goes, he's like, "Okay, just run." And then he started screaming, which is two things that probably you shouldn't do when you see a wind go. You probably shouldn't run and scream. But uh, hey, he's dead, so that sucks. I would make like a head joke, but uh, uh that's pretty insensitive. <laughs> okay, see ya, everybody.